Welcome to Sacred Space at Home, a resource from Vineyard Church of New Orleans. We're so glad you've decided to join us in this time of worship and reflection. Today we will meditate on Acts chapter 2. Wherever you may find yourself in this moment, try and make space to listen and experience the presence of God as we pray, hear the words of Scripture, and sing together. As we begin, we open our minds and hearts and say, Come, Holy Spirit. Lord, I don't want to rush ahead in my own strength when you're right here. Lord, I don't want to rush ahead in my own strength when you're right here. I'm not in a hurry when it comes to your spirit when it comes to your presence when it comes to your voice i'm learning to listen just to rest in your nearness i'm starting to notice you are speaking lord i want to love like you want to feel what you feel want to see what you see lord i want to love like you want to feel what you feel want to see what you see i'm not in a hurry when it comes to your spirit when it comes to your presence in your nearness I'm starting to notice you are speaking open my eyes I want to see you open my ears I want to hear you speak tell me your thoughts what's on your see through your eyes want to see through your eyes want to see through your eyes I'm not in a hurry when it comes to your spirit when it comes to your presence when it comes to your voice I'm learning to in your nearness I'm starting to notice you are speaking a reading from Acts chapter 2 verses 1 through 4 and verses 42 through 47 On the day of Pentecost, all the believers were meeting together in one place. Suddenly there was a sound from heaven like the roaring of a mighty windstorm, and it filled the house where they were sitting. Then what looked like flames or tongues of fire appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability." All the believers devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship and to sharing in meals, including the Lord's Supper and to prayer. A deep sense of awe came over them all, and the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. And all the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. They sold their property and possessions and shared the money with those in need. They worshiped together at the temple each day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, 
and shared meals with great joy and generosity, all the while praising God and enjoying the goodwill of all the people. And each day the Lord added to their fellowship those who were being saved. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As you hear this passage, what comes to mind? Can you think of a time you were overwhelmed by the presence of God? Upon experiencing the Holy Spirit, the disciples were changed forever. Their personal transformation led to a communal transformation founded in generosity, inclusiveness, and love. What transformation might the Spirit be stirring in you today? How might the Spirit be inviting you into deeper generosity, inclusivity, and love? As you reflect on this invitation, what things may be keeping you from listening to the Spirit more fully? Take this time to ask God to give you courage to experience and be transformed by the Spirit today. Open my eyes, I want to see you. Open my ears, I want to hear you speak. Tell me your thoughts, what's on your mind. I'll be your friend, I want to see through your eyes. see you open my ears I want to hear you speak tell me your thoughts what's on your mind I'll be your friend I want to see through your eyes want to see through your to your speed.
Spirit when it comes to your presence, when it comes to your voice. I'm learning to listen, just to rest in your nearness. I'm starting to notice you are speaking. I'm starting to notice you are speaking. Lord, help me notice you are speaking. As we conclude our time together, may you continue to be aware of the presence of God and seek to find sacred spaces throughout the day. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>